Hey guys, what's up? It's Anthony. I'm gonna do a video about how you can survive in college and the whole process about going into college. I'm gonna start while you're a little fetus as a senior in high school. Ah, uh, how cute you look. That sounded creepy. Basically, when you're in your last couple months of high school, there's a lot of pressure to figure out who you are as a person and where you really want to go. There's so many choices and there's so many decisions, people asking you questions and people sending you brochures and letters, saying all these great things about their school and making you want to go there. It gets overwhelming to a point where you just don't want to go to college at all. While that might seem like a good idea at the time, I think it's kind of important to go to school, at least for a couple of years at a four-year university or even a community college, just to get sort of like the feel of what it's like to be in this college and get to see if that's something you want to do because you never want to write something off without trying it. In high school, like those last couple of months, you are dealing with your sports, you're wanting to make sure that your grades are high so you don't get a rejection letter a little bit through, even though I'm pretty sure college is don't really care about your grades after they accept you. They're just happy that they're going to be getting your money. It's like, um, actually you can't come here. It's just rough. Being a senior in high school those last couple of months, you're trying to seem like you don't care, but on the inside everyone's pretty much kind of upset. There's this magical thing that happens when you're a senior too, where everyone gets along. But I think it's because everyone's going through the same emotion and the same feeling of missing that person that they were in high school. And when you get to college, you are going to feel different. It's a whole different Different experience. You feel a little bit more grown up, but you're still a kid, no matter what people tell you. And remember that for the four years that you're in school, because when you graduate college, people start asking you more grown up things and that you're supposed to be having more responsibility with them. Enjoy it while you can. Don't complain about school and try not to take sick days because maybe I'm just a complete dork, but when I graduated high school, I regretted every single sick day that I ever took. I actually really miss it. I was just thinking about how I missed high school and I miss that experience of kind of being naive and having that entire social atmosphere that you will never have again. So enjoy it while it lasts for those four years. It does go really fast. A lot of people will tell you that, but it's true. It goes so fast. It goes so fast. Same thing goes with college. I think college even goes quicker. And then you're at your senior year of college and you look back and you're like, did eight years really just pass by from freshman year of high school to senior year of college? And the answer is yes. It goes by like that. Embrace every single moment that you have with people in your life, your friends in school, experience and try everything that you have available to you because you don't want to miss that chance. When you get accepted to a college, after you make these college decisions and you start making these different choices about what school you're going to go to, that's when you need to start looking at social media. What I think is a really great way to see the backbone of the school and to get a better sense of the actual school community and not just the one that you see on the brochure where like everyone's pretty and like the kid with a guitar and he's playing under a tree that's like blooming and the sun sets in the background with like a rainbow and like Superman's flying by. I think I made a mistake by the college I went to. One of the things I really wish I would have done is looked at social media. There's a bunch of Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts about like, oh, crushes or University of wherever problems. I think that's something that you should check out. Google it, start looking at students in the school, and do your own little research behind the scenes and just see if those kids at that school are going to be what fits you. Because you get a better sense of the community and not just like the bullshit that they tell you. To make it seem like this magical experience. I mean, some of these places try to make their school seem like Disney World or something. And after like a semester there or a couple days, you're like, I really hate this school. Like, I seriously wish I would have gone somewhere else deciding what college you're going to go to, you're now getting asked, where are you going to intern? Where do you want to work after college? What's your major? What's your minor? And again, it's very overwhelming to the point where you think, maybe I'll just drop out. What you need to do is you need to start talking to people in these majors. Maybe even audit a few classes. If there's a professor, don't be nervous to go up and talk to them and ask them to sit in on a couple of their classes to see if that's something that you want to do. I mean, you're paying these schools thousands of dollars a year. It's your right as a student to be able to go and sit into a class and figure out if maybe that's the major you want to do or that's the minor you want to do. Don't really worry about what people are going to think about you, but just jump right in and find a group that you think is going to be fun that's an opportunity that will set up the rest of your four years and make you happy and honestly that's the most important thing because after college life gets kind of boring you're not going to be around people who are in the same age group as you anymore there's going
going to be people who are much older than you. And it's a struggle to find friends, and it's a struggle to find people to hang out with. I've spent so many days being by myself and alone because there's going to be a lot of pressure that you should grow up. You don't really want to do what I did and waste your college experience working. I never actually was able to hang out with anyone. And that's really my advice to you. Just go into college with an open mind, and if you are in college, to have an open mind, and to try to experience a lot of different things with groups and with people and meeting new people, trying new foods. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you would like to, please subscribe below. Follow me on Twitter, at Anthony Piero, and we can talk on there. I always follow people back. I also have an Instagram and Tumblr account where I post more things. Alright, thanks again. See ya!